precipitation, but that's likely to come our way as we advance into the late night hours. We're already seeing the increase in the atmospheric moisture and even some hints of sprinkles across the western side of the deep south states and the lower Mississippi Valley. That's with our next disturbance, which is beginning to slide its way across the western Gulf and the main source of its energy is going to stay to the south of the region. So that has a few implications for us. It keeps us on the cooler side of this setup, which will limit any kind of thunderstorm risk and we'll still have the moisture flowing in to produce steadier amounts of cloudiness and eventually patchy showers, perhaps even by midnight based on some of the latest thinking in the forecast and focus. Our temperatures will start to level off right around 50 degrees, but with the inflow of moisture, we're going to start seeing that translating into not just cloud cover, but sprinkles, showers that can become a little more widespread. And it seems like mostly a focus during the morning hour. So while you sleep, getting kind of damp, when you wake up in the morning, at least through midday, we'll still have some areas of mostly light showers, maybe a couple heavier downpours are possible and the activity starts to push aside as we enter your late Saturday afternoon. And by the time you head into tomorrow night, we're likely going to start that clearing trend once again as our temperatures stay a bit on the cool side. Overall rain totals are not looking all that impressive, not really looking at a big flooding risk of any sort, but maybe the closer you are to the coast, the more likely you can have about a quarter to maybe a half inch of rain in some of the highest amounts in South Georgia. You may not have much in the way of rain at all, especially as you go into uh, the afternoon hours and all of us get back into the sunshine on Sunday. So the weekend is not going to be totally lost. Just be aware that the shower chances will be on the increase and the coverage of such by later on tonight. Turning cloudy 48 for your forecast low tomorrow. It's going to be a struggle to get into the lower 60s, especially with the cloudiness and the showers kind of a raw damp day and then the sun breaks out in full force by Sunday. Our temperatures stay a bit on the cool side, even reducing our low temperature forecast a bit for your Monday morning, uh, perhaps to a range where we can see some patchy frost, but that's the coldest it gets. A sustained warming trend. We go from lower 60s for highs on Sunday to right around 80 degrees about a week from now, and between now and then we'll just have a partly cloudy sky starting Monday.